machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Lifting and pulling and flying so high Building a building up to the sky You can watch them all day and never know why they're Mighty machines Hear them roar, watch them soar Sit right down and see There are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Recycling day. The blue box is for bottles and plastics. The green one is for things like disposable diapers and kitchen scraps. The gray one is for newspapers and advertising flyers. I'm the recycling truck. I can handle all that stuff. There's my buddy. The big bins are waiting for you. Those recycling bins from apartment buildings are way too heavy for people to lift. How about that for a neat lifting arm? Up and over. Easy. No strain, no pain. Come on with me, kids. I'll show you where all this stuff goes. I bring everything here to the recycling station. Look at this mountain of stuff. All of it used to go to the garbage dump. Now it gets sorted and sent off to be made into new things. Hi there, Tiger. I brought you some more goodies. Hey, I'll just push it over here and make room for the next truck. I'm heading back to the street to get some more. Tiger, why don't you get Big Blue to show the kids how he sorts out all of this stuff? That's a good idea. Big Blue is the biggest machine I know, kids. In fact, I'm part of Big Blue's team. It's my job to feed all of this material onto his conveyor belt. There he is! Isn't he huge? Can you show the kids how you separate stuff, Big Blue? Sure, separating things is my specialty. All of these bits and pieces are mixed together. Bottles, paper, plastic, cardboard. My job is to sort it all out. My big drums crush this stuff and spread it evenly on the conveyor belt. Those blades whirling around are my secret weapons. 
heavy things, like bottles and cans and plastic, fall down between the blades. And light things, like paper and cardboard, bounce along the top to other conveyor belts. I am a super separator! I sent paper on that conveyor belt. Bottles and cans on those other conveyor belts. Everyone goes exactly where I tell it to go. Here come the flattened pop cans. I am a marvel of conveyor belts. Watch out below! Flying cans! I store them here until there is enough to compact them into bales. Look at all the milk and juice cartons. Now there's enough to bundle them up. This conveyor belt is heading up to my compactor. You can't see it, but my compactor, inside there, squishes the stuff all together. Then I push it out the bottom in those great big square bales. That bale has plastic pop bottles and soap containers. That bale will be made into plastic furniture, toys, even fancy fleece jackets. Isn't that great? We get lots of paper in this place. Look! It's raining paper! And here comes Skippy the Bobcat! He's another helper of mine. He is very proud of his lobster claws. Paper, paper, paper. All day paper. My claws are mighty useful for moving all this paper. I have to feed the paper onto Big Blue's conveyor belt that goes to his compactor and baler. garbage dump. Now we can send it off to be made into new cardboard boxes, or paper towels, or even party hats. Look at all these advertising flyers. Wow, a big sale on snow tires. Too bad I never get to go outside. Ready, Paper, cause Big Blue is gonna give you his special squeeze. <laughs> Bales come out all wrapped up like birthday presents, but uh, without the ribbon. <laughs> I'm Muscles here, the forklift truck. Stand back while I pick up these bales. Two are nothing for a guy as strong as me.
Look at all those bales stacked and ready to go onto trucks. Yeah, hurry up. I'm waiting out here to take those bales to the cardboard factory. Okay, okay, keep your shirt on. We're loading three trucks at a time here. Yeah, give a guy a break already. We haven't stopped all day. All right, all right, sorry. Lots of other things can be recycled too, kids. Maybe my pal Silver can show you around a metal recycling yard. I'm bringing a load of scrap into this metal recycling yard. Look at the piles of scrap metal. You know, metal workers are the original recyclers. They have been taking scrap metal and melting it down to make new things for hundreds of years. I guess this is a good spot to drop off my delivery. This is choice scrap steel. Old pipes, sheet metal, and rods. It came out of an old building that is being torn down. all of the metal on me. I bet some of it was one scrap. That's all until tomorrow. So long. Love it when new loads of scrap arrive. We can fling it up onto the piles and make a wonderful racket. Watch out there, Bobcat. Great noise! Whee! Watch out, Bobcat! You're getting in the way again! I just want to tidy up a little. I love to keep the yard neat. We can clear this up by ourselves. Really, you don't need to worry about it. I can't stand it. I like it to be tidy. Come on, Buffcat. You take all the fun out of being messy. Oh, no. There's lots more stuff behind here. That you missed. That bobcat's getting on my nerves. I'm taking a break. Let me know when he goes for lunch.
Open up, Baylor. What am I squishing this time? This is all stainless steel. Including the kitchen sink. Some delectable looking stuff. Away over here, stretch. <sighs> Chunky, stringy, it doesn't matter to me. Twirl it around and dump it in. Sizable little stack here, Baylor. You squashed a mountain of scrap metal down to a neat pile. It'll all fit in one truck now. These cubes sure are shiny. That's because the metal is stainless steel and has a lot of nickel in it. It is going to go to the foundry to be melted down and remade into pots and pans, knives, forks, and spoons. Uh, hold on there, young fella. Uh, that's, uh, that's all I can handle. I'll have to come back to get the rest. Bye. Okay, Gramps. Oh, where is that bobcat when you want him? Did you call me? Do you need me to pile this up for you, Grapple? I can do that. I'll do it. I'm very good at pushing all this loose stuff. I can scoop it up and make it easy for you to grab. Oh, that's exactly what I need so that I can do my job. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Gee, thanks. I have to load this scrap metal into the crusher. This is all stainless steel too, kids. It's little bits left over for making screws or cutting holes into steel. I have to let it go a little bit at a time so the conveyor belt can handle it. Is it my grapple nimble? I've got five fingers, just like a hand. I can pick up a great big fistful of this metal. 
And I bet I could pick up a cookie right off your plate. <laughs> Grandpa, did you know this metal is going to be recycled into all sorts of things that everyone can use, like bikes and cars? Well, Bobcat, I'm impressed. You're smart as well as helpful. Keepers, this is great! The conveyor belt takes the metal up into the crusher and it gets chopped up so more can be packed into the delivery truck. Okay, take it away. I'm going off to the foundry. But I hear there's a crew working on the road. I sure hope I don't get held up. Hi, kids. You don't see unusual-looking machines like me every day. I'm chewy. And I eat roads for breakfast. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't really eat them up. I, I recycle them. This road's really worn out. They just can't fix it anymore. The crew here is going to tear it up and lay it back down again. Just watch. I start by ripping up the surface with my teeth. You can't see them while I'm moving. Let me stop so you can get a closer look. I have to lift myself up a bit, and then you can see my huge grinder roller. It's under here. Those are my teeth. Kind of scary, aren't they? They spin around really fast and dig into the surface of the road. By the time I'm finished, the surface has been chewed up into gravel. Okay, back to work. I've chewed the fat long enough. Now I have to chew the road. We don't have to close the road. We do one side at a time so the cars can drive in the other lane. Tanker trucks like us carry tar and water. They get mixed in with the old road that's been ripped up to make the new asphalt. I'm Scraper, and I'm the big boss of this game. I grind up even more of the road. And then I pick up all the chunks and gravel. I'm like a big vacuum cleaner. By the time I get finished, there isn't a pebble left on the road surface. See my long conveyor belt? It's taking the rock and gravel that I've picked up from the road and sending it back to the crusher. And that's where I come in. I'm the crusher. And I'm the most important machine of the bunch. I take the gravel that was taken off the road and I crush it, so that all the rocks and stones are the same size. Then I send it over to the mixer paver. How are you doing, kids? I'm the mixer paver, the real big chief. I take the crushed stones and I add tar and a little bit of water from the trucks. I mix it all together and lay down the new surface of the road again. That big screw is my auger, 
and it spreads out the asphalt nice and evenly. A very neat job, right to the edge where we chewed it up. Now all we need to make this road perfect is for Roller to give it the final touch. And of course, save the best machine for last. I'm Roller. I make the surface of the road so smooth, cars won't even feel a bump. I'll bet you never thought that a road could be recycled, kids. Well, a lot of things can be recycled. Isn't that great? Mighty machines. Big and mighty machines. Working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines. Lifting and pulling and flying so high. Building a building up to the sky You can watch them all day And never know why they're Mighty machines Hear them roar Watch them soar Sit right down and see There are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines. Working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines.